Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home with Kita and here is your tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a plan with me for the week of May the 9th through May the 13th. So let's jump right into it. All right, you guys, I feel like I hardly ever get to do plan with me's on my channel. So today I'm doing a plan with me and I thought I would share with you guys how I would plan my week. If you haven't seen that before, if you're kind of new here. And so this will hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration. So I am using the vertical line layout, which I love because I'm a checklist person. So I love seeing things vertically and having lines to be able to make sure things are neat is it, it's very important to me, okay? And so I do love a good vertical layout that has the box, the box, the box, but I love being able to have lines here as well. So this gives me the ability to put appointments here at the top and then track random to-do list items here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and pull the pages out. And actually, this is the wrong week. We are, well, I still need this page to be out, but I did show you guys earlier how to use a daily sheet earlier this week, so you'll, have an idea of how you could use our new daily sheets to pop them in on those weeks where you have to break a day down. And so today I'm gonna be fully planning out the week. So this is actually gonna be for next week, not for the current week that we're in. So that way I'm ahead of the game, you guys. Okay, so I'm using the same sticker, Sophisticated Floors, because I used them for that daily page. So we're gonna use them here as well. So that way the daily page won't look out of place. I have my toolkit here. So this is from our shop. It's a pencil box here. I love them. We have them in a couple of different colors and that way you can store all of your essentials. So I've got a ton of things here. We also have a planner toolkit on our website that comes in a bag a pvc bag that has like scissors it has um exacto knife it has a couple of different things that you can use to plan your week out all right so there's that so let's go ahead and get into this you guys all right so sophisticated florals is super beautiful as you can see so if you guys aren't aware, I'm giving away a lot of Happy Planner sticker books, some Erin Condren stuff that I'm just not using because I'm Team Fancy Plans Co. all the way now. I can now use all of our stuff because we have every single thing now that we have the vegan leather, leather covers. So there's really no need to use anything outside of that. And it's a marketing thing too, to be able to share with you guys how we use my products and it's okay to be pro me, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just start laying the stickers down, you guys. There's really no rhyme or reason when it comes to this it's literally just a matter of preference which you know how you want to have this thing structured and so I'm gonna just go for it and sometimes I don't know you know until I kind of like match it up if I want to use a sticker or not so as you can see that was a no and I love these little checklists right here so you can add them and they just help you to be able to it kind of has a little arrow to point to that section so that you can outline some important things and so there we go all right so there's that I want to add a quote this week. I hardly ever add quotes. And y'all, I've gotten so much better now in terms of my planning time. It does not take me that long to plan anymore. Like, I don't know. I feel like I've changed so much in my planning style. Y'all y'all can see that if you've been an OG here. You know how things used to be. I used to have all the things pulled out. And I used to just go to town. And every now and then I'll still do that. But for the most part, the girl has gotten so simple. And I really love that about me. I don't buy all the things anymore. I don't feel the pressure to do that. I don't know there was like a pressure, some sort of pressure that I was putting on myself, I guess, to kind of keep up with things. And I don't do that anymore. And neither should you. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Because there's so much new stuff coming out now. You just feel like you need it all. But you totally do not need it all. Pick up a couple of things that you know you're really going to use and that you love so you don't have a whole cart full of stuff like I do. Uh, stuff that you haven't picked up in, in years. And hence is why I'm giving it away. <laughs> so don't be like me. 
I mean, although it, it was fun. Don't, I'm not going to take that away and say that it was, it was not fun and enjoyable. The rush of going to the craft store to see what was there and if you found it, you, you I don't know, you just felt so good about yourself was a pretty cool feeling. It's like a, I don't know, some sort of high. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Um, is it just me? But that's how I felt, just going on the hunt for stuff. Eventually, it did get frustrating, though, because there was there will be something that you really, really want, and then you go on the hunt for it, and you wouldn't be able to find it. So that only lasted for a certain period of time before you started to get frustrated. Because then you're like, why is it not here? And it's in other people's stores. I mean, if it's a release and it's a part of the launch, it should be everywhere. So that's a feeling I started to feel. And that wasn't always a fun feeling. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a box. Normally I add a box to the middle there, but I'm going to add one right here, a little bit off center. So planning with stickers and, and things, all the things is still so much fun for me. It's just that I've just gotten a little bit simpler in my style of how I plan. I'm more intentional with where I put things, what I buy, and you'll get there if that's a goal of yours. I mean, if you, if you just want to, you know, keep up with everything that's going on and buy all the things, look, more, more power to you. I'm totally not telling you not to. I'm just telling you that I no longer do and how it makes me feel to know that I'm not having to keep up with, with doing that. All right. So let's see, what else do we want to do? Sometimes I love these circle stickers. Especially if I feel like something's not quite looking the way I want it to look. Whenever I add a circle sticker, it just takes me where I need to go. I'm sorry, I hope you guys were able to see what I was doing, right? That's the whole point of the video. So I love this layout. I've been using this layout for some time now because again, I'm a list maker, so I just love being able to have the list part of this as well. And writing down all of my to-dos and things like that just works out so much better with this layout. definitely want to grab some dots again I keep them on my inside my planner cover most of my planner supplies pretty much stay on or in my planner I also have a new color in our transparent circles this color here is super beautiful and I think that's gonna work well so I'm gonna grab one of those I love using transparent sticky notes I mean it just adds a whole nother element to it and I love the fact that they're transparent. You can see through the back. It just adds like a bold statement to me. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna add one there. And when it comes to that, I do keep a Sharpie in my planner and that's what I use to write on the sticky notes. Just in case you're wondering. Sometimes I'll cut them in half as well. All right, so now that I got those there, I'm gonna take some dots out because I love dot stickers. And then this is where my tweezers come into play. We've got new reverse tweezers on our website, by the way, this one and then a curved one. And they are so helpful. The reverse part of it, because then you can grab the sticker and then when you release, it will let go of the sticker. So you don't have to, you know, you just use it a little bit differently from your traditional tweezers. And they work so well. Just pop a couple of dots in on stuff that I know that I have to do. And I typically use the top section to write appointments. And then the bottom section is my to-do list, meals, things like that. 
So that's kind of how I structure things when it comes to the page. All right, maybe I want one more box, y'all. Maybe some washi. Do have these washi strips available. And then I also have actual washi that I keep in my planner right here. And then I also have some in the back of me. So how about this beautiful gray washi? And I like the torn look of washi. So I'm not a stickler for trying to make sure that I get, you know, sharp or I get straight edges. So I literally just add it to my page and then I tear it off. We do also have washi cutters available at Fancy Plants Co. If you do want that clean edge. And it sticks right on top of the washi, which is cool. And then you just pull your washi off. All right, I like that. I like that. All right, you guys, I think I'm good to go. So let me show you how that would look. And typically on my plan with me's, I don't always write things in just because it's, I guess it's more so of a decorate with me, just to show you how I would decorate my planner for that particular week. So this is the week that we're going in. Again, we already did that daily page. So we know that we're gonna use that for this week. We wanted to make sure that the daily page looked cohesive with the actual planner spread. And so we used the same sticker book. So that's how everything would look. Super gorgeous. So there's a couple of things that I know that I can plan for for this week because they're just standard things. And so I would go ahead and write those things in like my faith stuff and appointments, math tutoring, things like that. Anything happened at the school with the kids that I know are gonna happen, extracurricular activities, I could go ahead and write that in. Everything else gets written in that week, okay? And then again, this is just for Friday for this week, so I'll need to be able to break that down, okay? Typically when it comes to dating out the day, I will take date dots, which I have here, and add them to the top, or I'll just take my pen and write them in. So I'll be able to do that as well when I get ready to really plan for this week. So so that's it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it you got a little inspiration again i used the sophisticated floral sticker book along with our stickers that i keep inside my planner cover and washi and you see how simple the process was so again i appreciate you stopping by hopefully you enjoyed this video so much so that you'll give me a thumbs up you'll consider subscribing to my channel and you'll come back by and catch another video in which case i'll see you guys then